A mystery illness strikes a group of kids across the country, leaving both parents and doctors baffled. The girls went from happy, normal kids to shaking, twitching, and sneezing uncontrollably. Jim Array has the latest on what is causing the bizarre episodes. A teenage girl's body spasms uncontrollably. An 11-year-old can't stop sneezing. And this 8-year-old flares her arms and makes odd sounds. All three girls suddenly contracted a baffling condition that had their moms frantic. The tics mirror the symptoms of Tourette's. It's completely uncontrolled. It's something in my brain. These girls never met before, yet mysteriously all started shaking, twitching, or sneezing. <laughs> now they've traveled to Darien, Connecticut to see the one doctor they hope can help them. We are already seeing an explosion of cases. Heather Burkholt and her eight-year-old daughter Emma live in Atlanta. On January 28th, Emma went from being perfectly normal <laughs> to uncontrollably jerking her head and arms. I would say her body's out of control. And get this, on the exact same day, Pamela Sturm of North Carolina was alarmed when her 17-year-old daughter Lily woke up from a nap and started twitching. Afterwards, I get muscle cramps um, in my legs and in my hand and in my neck. It breaks my heart. Renee Erdem and her daughter Julia live across the country in San Diego. Overnight, Julia began sneezing 8,400 times a day. Her mom heard it all. You're crazy, your daughter's making it up, she's faking it, you know, how can it really be, it must be allergies. It's helplessness, they are desperate, they want answers, they're angry. Lynn Johnson is the founder of the Pandas Resource Network. Pandas is short for Pediatric Autoimmune Neuropsychiatric Disorder Associated with Streptococcus. Strep can cause the condition by attacking the brain, triggering the tics. What's still baffling is why some children get it and others don't, and why the symptoms vary so greatly. The malady is not contagious. Dr. Dennis Baboulas, a leading immunologist, says Lyme disease, bacteria, and vaccines can also cause the condition. Fortunately, Dr. Baboulas says it can be treated with antibiotics. The cure is very high if you catch it early. That's good news for these young girls and their anxious moms. There's hope. There's definitely hope. And we'll be right back with much more Inside Edition right after this.